which is sitting here in the front. Uh, we have Mary Mason, rearranging chairs. Um, Thomas Estes. We have Terrence Davis. And um, also unable to attend today was Amanda Vinson. Um, she, again, because of the weather, she had already had a prior commitment, but I think we've got a little intro from her. So give them a warm round of applause. Good morning, everyone. I'm Amanda Vinson with Planners Bank, and this morning my team and I have the privilege of talking to you about a wonderful organization in Christian County, Alpha Alternative. Alpha Alternative's mission is to provide a safe, confidential, faith-based organization which ministers to those making life choices that affect their sexual health. Alpha Alternative started in April of 1991 with guidance from like-minded Pregnancy Crisis Center out of Nashville. Last year, Alpha Alternative serviced more than 450 women and families. And now here's the rest of my team to talk to you further about the wonderful programs Alpha Alternative offers. I'm Terrence Davis with your friendly neighborhood boys and girls. Good morning, everyone. I'm Amanda Vinson. <laughs> and that's Amanda. <laughs> and I'm Marion Mason with the Christian County Chamber of Commerce. And I'm Ryan Velasquez with Heritage Bank. I'm Thomas Estes with Higgins Insurance. Imagine yourself back in high school. You see a cute girl or guy, and you meet, smile, and you decide that you'd like to get to know that person. So what does society say the next step is? Sex. So there you are. You didn't wait to have sex until marriage. And the unthinkable happens, and you discover that you're pregnant. Teen birth rates are reported at 34.3 per 1,000 nationwide, 46.2 per 1,000 for the state of Kentucky, and 66.8 per 1,000 for Hopkinsville and Christian County. Our community is almost double the national average. So now you have three choices. You could keep your child, you can choose to, to give your child for adoption, or you can make the painful decision to abort your child. But in this town, we are very grateful because we have Alpha Alternative. We're going to show a quick clip of Lana Bassett, who is the board chair at Alpha. Hi, I'm Lana Bassett. I'm the current chair of the Alpha Alternative board. And Alpha has a really unique mission in that um, Alpha, as you know, means first. And that's really where we derive the name from, that we are the first step in women who come to us who are usually in a crisis pregnancy about their choices. And we want those first steps to be um, steps that are based on a woman's knowledge of her options and not based on fear. And uh, it's a very Christian-based organization, and it actually came from Scripture where... Um, we believe the Lord is, is the beginning, and He is the beginning and creator of all life. I became involved with Alpha because somebody asked, and that was probably about 20 years ago. And um, I'd gone through the leadership program, and I, and I think was exposed to Alpha at that point, but Alpha Alternative believes in the sanctity of all life. Um, the life of the baby, the life of the mother, the life of the father, the grandparents, the other siblings. So when you think of life beginning at conception and when that child is in the womb, um, we're worried about, we're concerned about the child and the mother as well. And sometimes when an option of abortion is chosen rather than life, um, there's a lot of grief counseling that needs to go on after after that. So Alpha Alternative offers those options for um, for the mother and the father also. I continue to see that they have not changed their mission. They've been true and and this is my second time around, my second year, I'm again board chair and enjoying enjoying the, the ministry. Alpha Alternative offers three primary services. Counseling for all situations, abstinence teachings, and assistance with essentials for the mother and baby. 
But peer counseling remains their most effective method. They use volunteers to work one-on-one -on -one with every single client that comes into their center. They listen to each client with compassion and with grace to help them through what is potentially one of the most difficult times in their life. And here to talk with us today, she has been both a client and a counselor, is Heather Hawkins. Heather, would you come up and please join us? Thank you so much. I would love to share with you my journey to Alpha, um, but I must tell you um, my story. We all have a story. When I was 20 years old, almost 21, I found myself pregnant for the first time. I was not married. Um, I was really in distress to begin with. Um, I made one phone call, a life and death decision in one phone call. And that phone call was to an abortion clinic in Memphis. I often think, you know, what if that one, one phone call would have been Alpha Alternative? You know, what would that be like today? Many women and men do not research their decision. Because of fear, they make a life and death decision by grabbing the phone and putting their faith in hands that do not honor or care about life in any way. So it wasn't what it was presented to me to be. Uh, my life would not go on. I mean, my life wasn't in a good place anyways. So um, I didn't leave there and go on with life um, at normal. Actually, I left there with no concern for my life anymore. My life was no longer valuable to me because I had taken the life of my child. So I spent 10 years in heavy addiction, alcohol, drugs, and, and sexual relationships. That man, that testimony really, really hit my heart because by the grace of God of some loved ones that I got to stay with and stuff, I, I really can't believe I didn't end up there. Um, so I spent 10 years in that, and the Lord blessed me with another child named Grace. And through her, she, uh, the Lord extended me His grace, and life changed forever. Um, I, at that point, I didn't understand why God would give me another chance to be a parent. I uh, figured I had ruined that, but um, that's why he gave her the name Grace. I didn't name her that. <laughs> he did. So um, a couple of years into my faith walk, the Lord really began to open up my heart about my unborn daughter. I just knew that she was a girl. So I knew that there was a place in town uh, that helped women when they were in crisis pregnancy, and I wanted to go and help ladies and educate them and tell them that you know there is another choice to choose life. I did not want anyone else to have to bear that pain of, of losing your child in that kind of way and have to carry that your whole life. So I totally went over there thinking I just want to help other ladies. So I went through my journey actually began four years ago and I sat at the banquet and my heart was just overjoyed and knew that this was the most beautiful place I had ever been in. And um, I went through a peer counseling where I got to learn, it was a whole week long, I got to learn how uh, to talk to these women. Sometimes, I mean, you just really have to meet them where they are. And you do it all the time, you have to meet them where they are. You don't know their, all their home circumstances, their life. I mean, we spend that time to get to know them but they're probably carrying a, a lot of stuff. So we reach out a hand of hope uh, and healing to them. So um, upon that completion of the peer counseling, if you have had an abortion in your past, you have to go through the post-abortion recovery. So again, I thought, because I want to help other ladies, uh, of course I'll do that Bible study. I had no idea of the gifts that God wanted to give me and he completely restored my life and gave me a purpose to live. Since that time, three years ago, uh, I now am the post-abortion coordinator at Alpha, and God has used the worst thing that ever happened to me and the reason that I could never lift my head 
or never feel worthy, and he has turned it into the reason that I live. My heart beats for that every day. The Pregnancy Care Center is the front line of life and death, and I want to share with you, um, my ministry is an outreach of Alpha Alternative, and it was birthed um, from Alpha. It's kind of like one of Alpha's babies. Um, we are a prayer and support group um, that deals with the aftermath of abortion. I want you to know that 43% of our women in childbearing age have an experience in abortion. When you're in your office place, when you are at church, when you are in a restaurant, I want you to think about 43% of those women and men have been affected by at least one abortion in their past. It affects us all because after that turmoil, you cannot go about your everyday business. It affects your job, it affects your home. It, I mean, it affects everything. And I also want you to know it's just so wonderful that the state of Kentucky only has one abortion clinic. Thank you, that is wonderful. But these women and men from our own county, from Christian County and all the counties in Kentucky, flee over our borders to Nashville and other places in Tennessee and they abort. Alpha um, can be that link, that life and death link, somewhere that they can go into where lives can be saved and they won't have to go through all of that pain and guilt and shame. So I, I see those cars out there a lot, Kentucky, Christian County, Logan, all those counties, and then on those license plates it also says, in God we trust. The Lord has allowed me to go on the other side and stand on the outside of that clinic and speak life and try to pray with them and give them another option. So. There's another board that we don't have here with babies that's the early flight board. And that board is uh, for babies that have been lost from abortion and miscarriage. I have led 11 ladies through the Bible study, the post-abortion Bible study, and 29 babies have been represented. And I watch ladies come back to life. And these ladies, most of these ladies are in church and very active in their community and you know, <laughs> seem like they have it together, but they have had this big secret that has has tormented them for years. So um, they come into Alpha uh, and they leave completely different on a mission. And that and that is me. Thank you so much for your time. Alpha Alternative also offers a program called Breakdown. Breakdown is a teen group that utilizes drama and storytelling to tell kids at the middle and high school levels about risky sexual practices while inspiring them to make the best choices in their life. Last year alone, Alpha Alternative spoke to over 3,000 students. The Western Kentucky chapter of Breakdown was started in 2010. The group travels to community centers, schools, and public events using hard-hitting dramas to, dis to portray the struggles teens are dealing with each and every day. Here is a short clip of Breakdown. Choice. She's so nice to solve it, you know, so. We'd be so many great. 
never too late to start over. Breakdown Western Kentucky is about educating our peers to make positive choices. We are Breakdown Western Kentucky. 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 We are. We are. We are. We are. We are Breakdown Western Kentucky. Finally, Alpha Alternative also offers parenting classes for those who decide to have their baby. Earn While You Learn covers prenatal development, pregnancy care, infant and toddler care, discipline, child safety, and even life skills such as money management. Clients may earn mommy bucks and spend them to purchase diapers, baby clothes, car seats, whatever is needed. They do this at Karen's Place, which is Alpha Alternative's resource center. Our team's proposal is to use this $1,000 grant to purchase badly needed supplies for Karen's Place. As you might imagine, the needs for diapers and other baby-related items is constant. The slides being shown right now show the current inventory at Karen's Place. So our team got together and we started brainstorming and we thought, what could $1,000 actually buy for Karen's Place? $1,000 could buy 20 boxes of 234 count newborn diapers. And as you can see, this is, a, this is, this is the current supply of the, the diapers that Karen's Place currently has, and they could certainly use some more at this point. Or, $1,000 could buy 75 newborn ones. <laughs> In the left-hand corner of the screen is the current supply of onesies at Karen's Place. Or it could buy 250 baby bottles. Right now, all the baby bottles are located in these three baskets. Or it could buy 40 containers of Simulac formula. Food is given to, to parents at Alpha at no cost. This is the entire food supply at Karen's Place currently. Or it could buy 10 new infant car seats. Right now, Alpha Alternative only has three car seats that they can sell. Great. Alpha Alternative is funded solely by the support of the community, that, the community that they serve. They receive no state, local, or federal grants. So the grant that we're seeking today from you would allow Alpha Alternative to use other funds to purchase an ultrasound machine that they could use at their facility. An ultrasound machine would further ensure the privacy of Alpha Alternative's clients. I have a baby model at 20 weeks right here, which is the same time frame as this picture. And I happen to know this baby. This is uh, my future son, John Ryan. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can, uh, I can tell you from experience, being able to see and hear your baby's heartbeat is very emotional. So for Alpha Alternative to have that availability to give it to future families or future moms could really help them be bond before making a decision. Baby models are another tool that Alpha Alternative uses in their counseling to make to help uh, families make the best decision. All expected families are given a paper baby, right here, during one of their first visits to Alpha Alternative. And those paper babies were then posted on these coming soon boards, which had their reference just a few minutes ago. This is placed in their prayer room, and there the families can decide whether or not they want to keep the child or whether or not they want to abort. If the family decides to keep the baby, their babies are placed on these boards. There are 14 of these boards at Alpha Alternative. This is very powerful if you see this walking through their facility, just to know that they've saved. Um, folks have had this many kids. Heather also talked about the early flight board, which is pictured on the slide. Um, this is where babies, if they are miscarried or aborted, are placed. And right now, this is all the babies that have been documented being miscarried or aborted. It's at Alpha Alternative. Now, imagine yourself back in high school, and you find yourself pregnant and alone. Yeah, you made a bad choice, but is it the end of the world? Thankfully not, with Alpha Alternative around the corner. So, in summary, we're asking you to consider Team Alpha, 
giving us and awarding us that $1,000 grant so that we can help Alpha Alternative. We'd like to recognize the Executive Director of Alpha Alternative who's here with us today, Ms. Sherita Ladson. Ann, who works at Alpha Alternative. Thank you both for coming. We appreciate this opportunity and thank you from Team Alpha. Thank you. Thank you.